Hey there, it's Ephraim Gadget. We are here with Jason from Viasat in the middle of nowhere in Camp Pendleton, in Southern California. And we have the Viasat Pro Portable. Uh, it's a satellite rig that lets us get connected at uh, broadband speeds pretty much in the, in the middle of nowhere. Um, and so we're going to try and get this up and running in, in about 15 minutes or less. So the clock starts now. And can you walk us through it as you're as you're getting set yeah, up? Yeah. So basically, this is you know a transport case. It could be checked in on any airplane. Um, this is just a tripod where the reflector will sit. This is the azimuth elevation assembly, which allows the fine tune the dish once we get it on. So basically, this slides on there like that. These two side reflector plates are actually modular, so it doesn't matter what side that you go on. That's just for you know ease for the user. Next we'll put on the TRIA. This is basically the same as our consumer TRIA for our Exceed, but we just went ahead and came with the center feed, which actually adds to ease as far as setting it up for expedience. So there we are about two minutes in and we have a complete antenna. You see the terminal just goes in. It just mounts right on the tripod and this helps the user you know we'll have a reading on the display panel as far as when we point it this GPS antenna is for it allows the modem know to know where we are, so it sends it into an install mode without us having to put a key in as far as like our residential guys would have to do. Here's the battery. This battery actually is used by the United States military. It has your standard NATO 5 pin connection to it. It's just 12 BDC. Okay, so we're up. Go ahead and set it into pointing mode. Allows the GPS to go ahead and try to find where it's at. And so what is this right here? So basically what this is doing is the GPS is trying to let the modem know where it is right now. It's trying to acquire. And depending on where we are, we just heard the tree click. We will, the tree will be able to go to its install mode. So basically what that does is give us our, our center freak, our polarization, what our beam ID will be on Viasat 1. You can feel it. There it is. So this is where our current position right now. And once I hit enter, you'll feel it. It's running through a script right now. It should come back up. There it is. So we're in install mode. So basically, this is my elevation, which I'll set first. And I'll go ahead and set it coarsely. Now with this set, 
I can go ahead and just start sweeping the azimuth. What I'm listening for is, I can see I'm coarse right here, but I'm listening for a ringtone. It'll sound like a telephone. That means I have some energy. We're about six minutes in now. This is obviously the hardest part. And in a remote location like this, it's really, you know your azimuth and elevation, it's really easy to point, but the whole purpose is of this. So now, if you want to come look, we're in the fines. And you'll see me adjust my SNR. Right now our SNR is already at 12.4, not 12, 14.51 dB. 14.7 we optimally want to be over 11 so I'll go ahead and hit enter I'll hook up the computer allow the modem to range the satellite and connect us to our gateway and force down the DC code address so you have four ethernet ports here yeah we have four local ethernet ports and this is just basically a little private like your basic commercial off the shelf router so it's like a 1.1 network so you know what the way we have it set up is you know all our computers or anything that we have is just DACP the modem will run through its script right now I can go ahead and show you the modem web interface show you how it's ranging the satellite and everything so this is it it's going through its net entry right now and how long does this process take? We're online. Oh, we're connected. Just for sanity purposes, we'll go ahead and check the router, make sure that a WAN address has populated the router. That way we know we can get out to the internet. We're still waiting. Okay. This is the local route to it, but you can see. We're still waiting for the modem to populate the router, and once we do that, we'll be good. So we have an uptime counter right there in the corner. Is there any way to, this, to monitor your like, this bandwidth actually, usage? Right now, we're online. Bandwidth usage is all actually all done out in Denver. Okay, so we're up, we're up now. We're up. We're Can you go to Engadget? Sure. show them when address. There we are. And I'll just go to Engadget.com. There we are. Time. All right. Just under nine minutes. Awesome. Realistically, about eight minutes or so. Cool. Playing around. All right, let's do a speed test here. Okay. Speakeasy.com. Let's go ahead and choose New York, I guess, where Engadget is based. There we go, about 13 down. Considering where we are, I mean, we're about how many miles in, into Camp Pendleton right now? Well, we are in, I would say, over top of a ridge. 
that um, the elevation on that ridge is about 3,000 feet. We're about 12 miles in, about 20 miles north of the entrance to Camp Pendleton. Um, as a prior Marine, you know, I've been, this is where actually all the rifle ranges are and everything like that. I don't know if you picked up the uh, machine gun fire that was going on in the background a little bit ago, but... Uh, so, so there we go, we got 13.74 down and 3.59 up, and so that, that can handle HD video. Oh, for sure, uh, yeah, definitely. And um, one of the things is, you know, with this, uh, the stream box de encoder and decoders, you know, we're doing, you know, has the capability of two meg at HD, so. Very cool. Awesome. All right, so we're online now. We have the satellite right here. It's all set up, and we have a uh, Skype conversation going with Michael Gorman. Hey, Michael, how's it going? Hi, everyone. How's it going? So, how's the video look on your end? Uh, it looks really good, actually. I'm not really, I'm not seeing any lag. There's no pixelation. Um, the quality stream seems to be holding, holding pretty well. So, you know, it looks good. So, do you think you could have a, a normal conversation like this, or are you noticing the lag? You said you you weren't, huh? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not seeing any any pixelation. Not noticing really uh, any lag at all. I could definitely have uh, a Skype conversation on here. It looks, I'd say, like just about any other Skype call I've I've had. Yeah. Great. So it looks good. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, you're very much welcome.